Hey, what's up everyone? So in today's lesson, we're going to start implementing the enemy AI behavior. We're going to add this nightmare character. Then we could use the state machine behavior, which is the animator component, to switch between different states. The enemy is going to be idle by default. Then after 5 seconds, he will switch to the patrol state. Now he's moving from one waypoint to another. Later on, we're going to add some other states like chase and attack. If we hit the enemy, he will start chasing. And if we are too close, he will start attacking and so on. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. I appreciate that. And let's jump right into it. So in this video, you will need to download some dragons. I'm gonna use this pack from the Unity Asta store. And it contains four dragons. In this video, we're gonna use the Nightmare one. But later on, we're gonna add these, which can fly. So this pack is free. I'm gonna add a link to it under the video description. It is called Dragon for Boss Monster. Let's import it into Unity. You can click Open in Unity. And that will open the package manager. Make sure to download the asset and hit import. And once you do that, you will see this folder. Let's open the scene folder. We have the main scene which contains the four dragons. But we have this problem of the purple materials. And to fix that, we can upgrade the project materials to URP. Let's go to edit. Then render pipeline, universal render pipeline. And we have upgrade project materials to URP. And the problem is fixed. Now we can hit play. And here we have four dragons. In this video, we're gonna use the nightmare character and the state machine behavior to switch between the different states. For example, he's gonna be idle by default. And after five seconds, he will switch to the patrol state. Then in the next videos, we're gonna add other states like chase, so if we are close to him, he will start chasing and so on. To use this character, let's go back to our main scene, which is under the starter assets, third person controller, then scenes. It is called playground. First, we need to drag in the nightmare character under the scene. You could find it under the prefab folder. Also, we have different colors. If you double click on the prefab, you could see it under the scene view. For example, let's use the blue one. So let's go back to the main scene and drag it in under the hierarchy. So it's a little bit big. Let's change the size to 0.4. Then let's move it a little bit forward and rotate it around the Y axis. Then to control this character, we're gonna use the animator component. So here we have this animator controller which contains all of the animations and these are called states but we're gonna use two states which is idle and walk I'm not going to modify this controller let's create our own using right click create animator controller and let's change its name to nightmare then to use this controller we need to select the character and change the controller field Then under the animations folder, Dragon Nightmare, we have all of the animations, like idle. We have two versions, and I think I'm gonna use the first one. Let's drag it, and it's gonna be the default state. We can change the name to idle state, and this is the default animation. So once we play the game, the nightmare model is gonna be idle. Then we can switch to the patrol state in which the character will start walking. So I'm gonna drag in the walk state or the walking animation. Then we're gonna add some transitions from idle state to walk. And we need to go back from walk state to the idle state. Also, let's change its name to walk state. And to control these transitions from the code, we need to add some parameters. And to add a new parameter, we can go under the parameters tab and let's add a new one. I'm gonna use a boolean 
and let's call it is patrolling then we can select the transition we need to transition from idle to walk whenever we set the boolean is patrolling to true and to set that we need to add it under the conditions is patrolling true also we can go back if we change the boolean is patrolling to false and to make sure that our character transitions directly from walk to idle we need to uncheck has exit time the same thing for this transition and if you leave has exit time checked our enemy will transition from idle to walk only when the idle animation is finished and we don't want that now to change this parameter is patrolling you could create a separate script and add the logic to switch between these states but we have another option that is called state machine behavior basically we can attach a script to each of these states and to do that you can select the idle state then from the inspector we can add a behavior let's call it idle state and hit enter twice to create it then let's open it up in visual studio once you open the script you will see few methods the first one is called onStateEnter which is called each time we enter the state then the onStateUpdate and it is like the update method it is called over and over again but only when the state is active that means when the enemy is idle the code that we write under the onStateUpdate is called over and over again and finally we have the onStateExit and I think you guess it it is called each time we exit the state so by default our enemy is idle then we're gonna wait for 5 seconds and we can transition to the patrol state by changing the boolean is patrolling to true and to do that let's create some kind of a timer variable using float timer let's initialize it to 0 by default using timer equals 0 under the on state enter which we can use like the start method in a normal script then under the update method we're gonna use timer plus equals the time the delta time then we can check if the timer is greater than a value like 5 seconds we can switch to the patrol state and to change the boolean is patrolling we can use this parameter it is the animator component so let's write animator dot set bool first we need to pass in the name of the parameter which we have called is patrolling and we need to set it to true now whenever we play the game the enemy is going to be idle and after 5 seconds he will switch to the patrol state or the walking state so make sure to save the script and let's go back into unity so by default the nightmare character is idle and after 5 seconds he's walking but he's not moving from one waypoint to another and to do that we can add another behavior script and attach it to the patrol state so let's go back to the animator component select the walk state I think I'm gonna change the name to patrol state then let's add behavior I'm gonna call it patrol state as well then let's hit enter and let's open it up in Visual Studio first we need to uncomment these methods and let's do the same thing we're gonna wait for 10 seconds and switch back to the idle state and because I'm a little bit lazy I will just copy and paste but let's change the time to 10 seconds so after 10 seconds we can switch back to the idle state by changing the boolean is patrolling to false and we haven't added the logic to move the character from one waypoint to another to do that let's go back to the scene first we need to add an mesh agent to this model we can select our character or let's change the name to nightmare dragon from the inspector let's click add component and search for nav mesh agent we're going to change some parameters later on but before that we need to select the environment so this contains all of the environment models like this building and all of these cubes make sure to select all of these then we need to change this from static to navigation static 
and we need to apply the same thing for the children so select yes change children and that will actually tell the navmesh agent about the map so that the character can move from one waypoint to another using the shortest path also we need to go to window ai then navigation and let's hit bake and once you do that you will see the blue area and that will allow you to move the character to any point on this map by using a method which is under the nav mesh agent component and it is called set destination but first let's create the waypoints i'm going to create an empty game object let's call it waypoints then let's go back to the inspector and reset the transform under this empty game object let's create our waypoints you could use any kind of object like a sphere or let's use an empty game object I'm gonna call it waypoint then let's move it and let's create few waypoints using ctrl D and move it on the map and once you do that we need to reference these waypoints under our script so that we can move the nightmare dragon from one waypoint to another and the easiest way is by using a tag I'm gonna tag this empty game object then we can loop through all of these children make sure to select the waypoints object and let's add a new tag like waypoints and let's select it again and change the tag from and tag to waypoints now we can go back to the script and we can access the waypoints object and the children as well using find object with tag first I'm gonna add a list of waypoints using this list class and it's gonna be a list of transform components I'm gonna call it waypoints equals an empty list using a new list of transform and let's move to the on state enter we can find the object that has the tag waypoints using game object dot find object with tag this takes the name of the tag which is waypoints I'm gonna copy it and let's paste it and let's assign this object using game object I'm gonna call it go then we can loop through all of the children using the for each loop for each transform d in the game object dot transform and let's add them to the waypoints list using waypoints dot add then t now we can move the nightmare dragon using the nav mesh agent component but we have to use the namespace unity engine dot ai and let's create this agent variable the type is nav mesh agent this is the component that we have added to the nightmare character I'm gonna call it agent and let's initialize it under the on state enter using agent so let's write animator dot get component which is the nav mesh agent and to move the dragon to one of the waypoints let's go under here and use agent dot set destination this takes the target position I'm gonna use a random waypoint using the waypoints list and in these curly braces we can pass in a random index using random dot range so we want an index from 0 to the last index which we can find using waypoints dot count and this takes the position of the waypoint so make sure to add dot position but that will move the nightmare dragon to one of the waypoints also we need to check if we have reached that waypoint we can move to another one and we can write that under the on state update because it's called over and over again we can check if we have reached a waypoint or the target position using if agent dot remaining distance so we can access the remaining distance 
if it's less or equal to the stopping distance of the agent using agent dot stopping distance that means that we have reached the waypoint in such case we can move to another one using the same line of code and finally we can use the on state exit so that we can stop the enemy if he exit the patrol state so if we go back to the idle state we need to stop it and to do that we can use agent so we have the stop method but it is deprecated actually we can use set destination and move it to his current position using agent dot transform that position and that will actually stop the enemy once he exit the patrol state and i think that's pretty much it let's save our script and hit play again and there you go now the enemy is idle and after five seconds he's moving from one way point to another we only need to change the speed but at least we have this AI behavior now he's idle again so to change some parameters let me minimize this window and let's double click the nightmare dragon and from the inspector we can change the speed to 2 for example or maybe 1.5 I think it's fine also we can change the angular speed I'm gonna decrease it to 80 also the acceleration let's change it to 5 now I think it's better so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you like it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon I appreciate that and I will see you in the next one.